Hello friends, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss the concept of irrotational vector. What we mean by this? Our problem is show that the vector field A vector, which is given by this, is irrotational. Okay, it is irrotational. This is the vector A we have been given, and we want to prove that this is irrotational. So a vector is called irrotational or conservative if its curl is equal to 0. How we find the curl? Curl of a vector is denoted by this thing. Okay. This is a nabla operator. Okay. It is known as the vector differential operator. Okay. And it is a cross product. So if we cross product the a vector, the given vector with this uh, nabla operator, vector differential operator, and its uh, cross product is 0, then we say that this vector is irrotational or if the curl is zero you can say in other another words that if the curl of this vector is zero then it is irrotational or conservative okay so the thing is i just want to calculate this curl and if it equal to zero we will say that it is irrotational this is the given vector actually let me show you first what we mean by del operator this del is equal to del by del x i cap plus del by del y j cap plus del by del z k cap where del by del x del by del y and del by del z are the partial derivatives in x with respect to x y and z okay in i cap j cap and k cap directions these i cap j cap and k cap are the unit vectors along the uh, three axes these three axes are perpendicular x y and z axis so this is the del operator and our vector a vector that is given is x square minus y square plus x i cap minus 2xy plus y j cap. So I just need to uh, cross product these two vectors. If uh, how we can find if we have uh, two vectors, let's suppose uh, in simple words a vector and b vector, then uh, a vector is uh, ax i cap, a y j cap, and a z k cap. And three components of this b vector are bx i cap, b y j cap, and b z k cap. Then the cross product of these uh, two vectors is. Uh, denoted as i cap j cap k cap and a x a y a z you see the three components of uh, first vector and the three components of second vector and i cap j cap and k cap at the in the first row okay in the same way we have these two vectors this is i cap part j cap part and k cap part okay and in the same way it has i cap and j cap part so if i arrange this it becomes i cap j cap and k cap in the first row and then the first vectors uh, components del, y, del by del x del by del y and del by del z okay del by del x del by del y del by del z and the second vectors components this is the for x component uh, i cap component okay and this is for y j cap component and uh, it has no k cap components okay no that is no z component so it is a zero now all we need to do is just to solve this determinant and check whether it is zero or not if it is zero then this this a vector will be irrotational vector okay or the conservative now uh, how to solve this uh, determinant you should know how to solve this let me also show you let's uh, expand this with respect to this uh, first row we can use any row so for the first rows first uh, element draw a line for this i caps uh, column and i caps uh, row okay and we have these four terms remaining what we do cross multiply these two means uh, del y del y into 0 minus del y del z of uh, 2xy minus y okay so how we solve it i cap right i cap here okay if it is i i cap here so i cap then del y del y of 0 minus del y del z of minus 2xy minus y. Then take minus of this at this place. So minus j of, now take uh, this j, draw a line for the column and row of this uh, j. Okay. And we have these four terms. Now cross product these del y del x of 0 minus del y del z of x square minus y square plus x. So it is minus j del y del x of 0 minus del y del, del z of x square minus y square plus x. Okay. Now let's erase this. Now for k part, 
remove the column and row of this k and we have these four terms so plus k cap now del y del x of minus 2xy minus y del y del x of minus 2xy minus y minus cross product these minus del y del y of this term x square minus y square plus x x square minus y square plus x del y del y of this so this is uh, what we want to calculate now let's uh, solve this expression i cap okay at the place of i cap i have i cap differentiate uh, partially zero with respect to y so it is zero minus del y del z of this term actually you see we uh, what we mean by this partial differentiation with respect to z partial differentiation if i am doing a partial differentiation with respect to z then i will treat only z as the variable and other variables available or present like x and y here will be treated as constant if i am differentiating partially with respect to x then the other variables like y and z will be treated as constant so differentiate this with respect to z this term okay so what will i get and treat x and y as constant so this is a constant term whole term and this whole term this uh, term is also constant term. so constants uh, derivative is uh, zero so zero minus this term is zero and this term is also zero minus j okay at this place so differentiation of this with respect uh, of x differentiation of zero with respect to x partially is again zero minus del y del z differentiate partially uh, this expression with respect to z and uh, so we will treat x and y as constant so these are all x and y terms so this whole expression is a constant and constants uh, differentiation is again zero so this is zero plus k cap we are at this place now so k cap del y del x of this term so we will treat at this place y and z as constant so there is uh, two terms x and y two kinds of variables here x and y so only x will be treated as, as the variable and y as the constant so this part is zero this part's differentiation is zero this is constant term and this here y is a constant so minus 2xy's uh, differentiation will be minus 2y differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so its differentiation is minus 2y minus del y del y of this term differentiate this term with respect to partially with respect to y treat x and other terms uh, except y as constant so this is this term is 0 and this term is also 0 so the differentiation of minus y square with respect to y is minus of 2y so solve this this term is uh, 0 uh, 0 i cap and this is also 0 minus 0 j, j cap plus this is minus 2y and on opening this bracket it is plus 2y minus 2y plus 2y is uh, 0 so i cap j cap and k cap terms all are uh, 0 therefore we have uh, the curl of this vector curl of the vector a is 0 if it is 0 then it means that a vector is irrotational we have proved this because we found the determinant to be equal to 0 the curl equal to 0 because we have found the curl of vector a equal to 0 so it is a it is an irrotational vector or conservative okay and what if it was not 0 if it were not 0 then we will say that it is rotational vector so did you get the concept of uh, irrotational vectors it was very simple if curl is 0 then it is irrotational curl curl means rotation and if rotation is 0 then something's rotation is 0 then it will be irrotational so this was the mathematical concept actually uh, from the uh, point of view of engineering mathematics so i did not explain you the concept of the physical uh, interpretation of uh, rotational vectors in physics lectures i will explain you what we mean by irrotational vectors what is its physical significance okay so this was all for this video see you soon in the next video please like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made 
easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye